I hope it is filled with lots of hope, love, and laughter. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good. You know, all that was missing was my love. And my New Year's kiss. <laughs> I should call Bianca. You know, she, might, um, she might be stuck in traffic. I think she would have called if she would have stuck somewhere soon. Yeah, well, that one. Was that, was that a little weird just now? What, um, I, I think we both know what's going on here. Will you marry me? Wait, wait, we just found our way back to you. Don't do this. Don't, 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 don't pull away. I don't have a choice. Yes. Yeah, we always have a choice. I chose you. It's, a... it's Annie, right? It's Annie. You're afraid of Annie. She can't, she can't hurt you anymore. She can't. She's you can't, out. you can't promise that. I've had this dream twice. I was in my wedding dress. Uh, what's wrong with that? I was dead drowned in a bathtub. It's an omen. I know it. Mm. Great. Louis, when do you believe in superstition? This is this different. Is... It was a message, Ryan. Marriage will be the end of us. I asked you a question. Do you remember leaving here? It was bad. It was really, really bad. Why was it bad? I hurt my daddy. You mean you hurt Ryan. You know he's not your father. You better untie me or my daddy's going to be really mad when he gets here. He's going to be mad that you didn't let me out. He's going to be mad, really, really mad. Do you regret what you did to Ryan? I didn't mean to hurt daddy, but he got in the way. In the way of what? The mean lady. It's not safe with her there. With who there? The Greenlee lady. She needs to be dead. Me out. You have to let me out. Annie, we're going to move you to a new room today. No, that, I, I don't need another room. Don't you understand? It's dangerous. I have to kill the mean lady. Why aren't you listening to me? You don't understand. What? No, and I don't need another shot. Please, just get me. No, get, please stop it. Please, I don't need another shot. Uh. Uh. What is Mr. Stone doing out of isolation? After evaluation, his psychiatrist felt he was ready to be released. Uh. How are you doing today, Mr. Stone? Mr. Stone is doing much, much better. And what is Mr. Stone doing out here? No. Mr. Stone is counting air molecules. Because if someone doesn't do it, well then, we'll never know just exactly how many they are. 995. 996.
my dream felt so real. Like I was being warned and I have a chance to stop something bad before it happens. It's not real. Green, you, you, can't, you can't think like that, okay? I can't help it. It wasn't a dream when Annie killed a brother. When she kidnapped her child and shot her friend. When she stabbed Erica and broke out of a mental institution to come after me. I'm seeing a pattern here. She's not going to stop until she gets her way. I'm not going to let Annie do this to us. I'm not. I'm not. We are going to build a life together. You, me, Emma, and Spike, a life that Annie cannot touch, okay? I will always, always protect you, and I will do whatever I have to do until you believe me. Not here. We're friends. We're, we're close friends, and it happened very quickly, and sometimes when that happens, it gets, gets a little weird, but it, you, me, Bianca, we have a kid together. It doesn't get any closer than that. Right. Right, of course. Right. Of course. Plus, it's New Year's. You're supposed to kiss people. It's, yes. It's mandatory. Right. Whether it's friends or family. Strangers. Strangers. Kiss them. Yeah. Strangers. Oh, you had a few of those in your day, huh? I told you, it's mandatory. Oh. Well, a stranger tries to kiss me, I run. Well, what I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to run. It's okay for us to be close. I mean, I've, I've actually never had a close friendship with a man before. Except my father, and that was, um... Ugh. You know what? You know what? I, I'm gonna figure this out. I'll learn the basics, and then I won't freak out anymore. All right. Basics is good. We'll do that, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Very good. Deal? Deal. Happy New Year. <laughs> well, Happy New Year to you, too. Do not provoke Dr. Sinclair. You need to keep a low profile. I got you in here, now you have to act accordingly. No, I know how to handle myself. You already risked your cover by asking about security information. And I hear you planted a kiss on the doctor. Is that how you plan to handle things? It was in the moment. The doctor was so suspicious, I had to be convincing. You're a loose cannon. What's next? You gonna ask her out? Why is a good doctor lonely? You shouldn't even be talking out here. Listen, wait. When I was admitted, you told me there was no security cameras in this wing. Yeah, that's right. Well, there is one in Annie's room. You know, Simon and I, we even skipped that friendship stage. Where'd you meet him? At work. He was the rising star in my dad's firm. God, when we started dating, everyone was talking about the house that we would design. Mm. <laughs> everyone thought we were perfect together. So I just figured I was missing something. But, you know, it was really strange because to me, I always felt like it was just a facade that I was putting on. You know, on the outside, we were the perfect couple. What about the inside? The inside, I, um, didn't really want Simon to know who I was. Because I was afraid that he'd realize I was pretending to be something that I just wasn't. Like, I couldn't wrap my head around the concept of being gay. How was I supposed to explain it to him? Was it the right time for you? No. But I hate that he got caught up in it, you know? God, my head was a mess then. Yeah, I've been there. Really? Uh -huh. You were a closet lesbian, too? Yeah, a couple of years in college. I got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of explaining to me. Yes, wow. You know, I can buy you as a lesbian, but I just, I, can, I can't see you as a, a mess. You seem so grounded. Well, that's Kendall and the boys. 
It's time in my life I didn't know who the hell I was. Yeah, well, at least you didn't get engaged and have to break someone's heart. I, I did some pretty extreme things. Really? Like what? 